Hey, it's John from Tinderbox Arts. So I'm going to do a quick little video in here on how to do a field test on your motorcycle battery or a load test on your motorcycle battery. Now, you can go to a, um, you know, an automotive parts store or a dealership maybe or a mechanic and they may have a um, battery load tester which is, you know, an official machine that you hook the battery up to. Uh, it's computerized and it will put a load on the battery read the readings and give you some kind of uh, indication if the battery needs replacing or not. So all you need to do or to have to do this test is to have a multimeter or really just a voltmeter um, with a DC range that accommodates you know in this case it's 20 0 to 20 but something in that general range is fine and I've hooked up the leads here using alligator clips let me show you real quick here so that's just easy to hold on there, but you want to hook it directly to the battery if you can. And the, we're, the, we're going to take a few readings here. The first reading is going to be the battery voltage with um, nothing going on. The bike is off, you know, there's no accessories on, nothing. And we're going to take a reading. And we want to see that reading in the high 12s if we can. Then we're going to take a second reading after we turn the ignition to the on position but not turning the bike on. So the ignition is on the on position. It's usually a headlight is going to come on. And in that case, we're going to see this voltage drop a little bit. So there's usually what's called a surface charge, which is kind of the initial charge of the battery. And if that surface charge is shallow, meaning uh, that it drops suddenly under any load at all, then you, know, you have a problem and the battery uh, is suspect. But if it drops a little bit, with the headlight on and the, and the ignition to the on position, maybe in the you know, low 12s, that's fine, that's normal. So we want to see that. Then the third thing we're going to test is under a significant load. So we're going to keep this um, voltmeter or multimeter attached. We're going to turn the bike, uh, you know, crank the bike with the starter, and that'll put a significant load on the battery. We want to see this voltage drop, but not drop too dramatically. So ideally, you'll be in the 10 volt range, maybe down to like 9.6, 9.5 even, uh, but nothing lower than that. And ideally in the 10s. If we see a voltage drop lower than um, you know, 9.6 or so, then either the battery is not charged very well or um, you know, it's on its last legs, and that's something you want to look at. And you'll consider the age of the battery when you're doing this. So if it's a five-year-old battery or if it's a one-year-old battery, that may make a difference as far as what we suspect, uh, whether it's just undercharged or whether it's just on its way out. And then we want to see, after that, um, the charging voltage. And the charging voltage is with the bike running at idle and also at about 2,000 RPM. And ideally, we'd like to see that in the 14 volt range. So 14 and a half volts would be great. Um, lower 14 is okay. When you get under 14, there may be a problem, and that's something you want to look at. Uh, if it has an alternator, you know, it could be an alternator belt, uh, it could be the alternator itself, uh, it could be connections between the alternator and the battery. Um, if it's a more traditional, uh, you know, stator. Then again, you could have a problem with the stator. You could have the windings could be bad. You could have uh, again bad connections between uh, the battery and the stator. So, you know, these are all things you need to look at. But the charging voltage ideally is in the mid 14s. And then when you turn the bike off, we want to see this um, voltage come back up to basically where it was. All right, this one is a 2010 Triumph Bonneville. I know for a fact this battery is five years old. Um, but it's still in good shape. I have alligator clips You know set up here, so I'm directly on the battery with the alligator clips With nothing on at all. We're reading 12.98 volts, which is very good now, I'm going to switch the Ignition on and we probably will see this drop a little bit so That's ignition on Now we're down to 12.4 12.3 now there's going to be a surface charge on this battery and that surface charge may end right here at 12.3 or so, that's fine. Um, if it starts going way below that, you know that you know the charge is really very shallow and there's really not much to it. Now I'm going to pull the clutch in and try not to hit the camera and we'll start this up and we want to see how far down this voltage dips.
All right, so a few things we saw there. First of all, I, I have to check it on the video after the fact, but I think it dipped down to middle nine in the voltage, which is, is fine. You can get down to say 9.6 or so, and that's still a good battery. So I think this battery is still good. However, um, you know, I noticed the charging voltage was a little bit low. We want to see that 14, mid 14s basically, or 14.2 or so. Um, and I'm seeing a much lower reading than that. So that is something I want to check here. Now, same bike, I haven't changed anything except for the meter itself. So because I saw that um, charging voltage was low, I just want to check it's not the meter. Because uh, sometimes, you know, meters do go bad or the battery in the meter is no good. There can be problems. So I just want to double check this. So I'm going to start this again. This is, you know, no, um, nothing going on. We're at 12.5. I'll turn the key on down to, that's getting lower, 12.10. That's a little lower than we saw before. Now let me try starting it. All right, on this bike, we have a Triumph Tiger 800 XC, and again, we know it's a known good battery. So, starting out, we have 12.65, which is a good reading. Now, I'm going to turn the key on. All right, with the key on, it's coming down to about 12.10. And, you know, so like I said, there's usually a surface charge of some sort. Now, if it's a real shallow surface charge, like I said, this is going to come way down. But in this case, it's come down to, it's okay. It's still within the 12, so we're okay. Not a problem there. Now, uh, it's not my bike. i got to make sure it's in neutral. All right, and we'll try starting it up now. All right, so uh, I, I didn't catch it. I caught it out of the corner of my eye, but I think it was 10 point something that it dropped to when I did the start, which is great. No problems there. And then uh, we were into the 14 range um, when we were charging, and I put it up to 2,000 RPM. Good, good readings there. That's all good. So that's exactly what you want to see. Good charging. When the load was applied, it didn't drop too far down. And um, now here we are back. Uh, with the bike off, we're back up to 12.85, so we're in good shape, excellent shape. All right, this bike is a BMW R1200 RT, and again, with a known good battery, so we're starting out with 12.7, that's good. Let me turn the key on, got to reach over here. That's key on, and we're back down to 12.26, again, good shape. We'll wait a second just to make sure that isn't a shallow... Uh, you know, surface charge on there, and it's pretty much stabilized there at 12.12, so that's good. Now, let me reach over here and start it up, and I uh, will watch the gauge. All right, so on this BMW, um, from what I can see from the corner of my eye, when I started it, it dropped to about 9.1 volts, which is a little bit low. So that is, I mean, it started okay, but that's a little bit lower than we want to see. We want to see something more like 9.6 at the lowest, and a little higher would be better. So this battery, you know, may be a little undercharged. That may be all it is. Or, you know, it may be just starting to show signs of, um, you know, age. And if I was, you know, wondering whether this battery is good or not, 
one thing I would consider is the age, the physical age of the battery. So, um, you know, if this battery was five, six, seven years old, and I was getting that 9.1 reading, I'd think to myself, you know what, it might be time for a new battery. On the other hand, if this is one year old, I'd, I'd look at the charging system, and if the charging system were good, then I, you know, I think maybe it was just a little bit undercharged, or, um, you know, it may have a, a premature problem. But that voltage there is a little bit low, so that's something you want to look at. Now, again, the meter can be a difference. So if I put a different meter on this, if it's marginal and I'm not really sure, and I put a different meter on, you know, I may get a different result. So that's also something to consider. Now, the charging voltage, what we just saw there, was okay, but a little bit low. You know, it was, it was high 13. I'd rather see it more like 14 or a little higher. So, you know, that, again, this is something I want to look at. Um, long term here, this particular bike has an actual alternator, so we can look at the belt, we can look at the alternator itself, and we can do some more testing to make sure the charging system is doing what it's supposed to be doing. But that is a little bit low. Another potential problem is um, bad connections between the alternator and the battery. So there's a bunch of things we can look at, but it, that would be an okay reading, but not a great reading. Uh, so you have to look at this you know, in, in total. So if you get a, a low charging reading, you get a low, uh, you know, voltage when you start the bike under load, then it may be the charging system is not up to par. But if the charging system is, you know, doing really well, it's in the mid-14s, and you get a low reading on the load test, and the battery is a little bit old, well, you know, it might be time for a new battery. All right, so after testing all those three bikes, uh, <laughs> there are some issues we want to look at. Uh, the Tiger XC tested good. That, that's a real good bike, no problems there at all. Uh, this Triumph, the battery is pretty good shape, I think, uh, but uh, there's some charging issues we want to look at. And this BMW RT, again, the battery, I think, is in pretty good shape, uh, but the charging voltage may be a little bit low, and that may also explain why... Um, this battery dropped a little bit low under starting load as well. It's, it's you know almost within range, but it's it's you know a little bit suspect. So it's something we want to look at more deeply.